Good morning YouTube, welcome to Johnny's Garden Maintenance. Hope you're all keeping fit, healthy and well. So what have we got for you today? Come follow me. So here we have Prunus laurel thoracis, commonly known as English cherry laurel. Tolerates all sorts of light conditions from full sun to even full shade. Preferring more sun, sun in cold climates and more shade in warmer areas. It's about 30 meters long by about 15 foot high. We're going to do the tops and the sides both inside and out. Cherry Laurel is a great hedge for privacy, for screening, for done out noise pollution. I recommend anybody who wants to grow a hedge, grow an English Cherry Laurel. It's an evergreen shrub, it'll stay green all year round. And it has beautiful, shiny, glossy leaves. And left on Kim can reach up to 40 meters in height. So tools for today, I'm on my KM131R combi system, my handheld HS45 hedge trimmer, my head trimmer attachment, my blower, a rake, and a step ladder. Sit back, relax. about this. This is water cup. Mind doing this as a kid. Do you like butter? Run up the other kids and put it on their chin. Do you like butter? And if it's shine, do you like butter? But this is Renunculus reapings. So butter cup there's two varieties. There's a meadow, meadow butter cup and then there's the stuff you find in lawns. Which if you have a lawn and you love your lawn, you know it's gonna give you a headache. Why does it give you a headache? Well the root, pretty deep, pretty thick, tuberous roots, um, rhizomes, so they go across, plant itself in, and as you see here, it's already starting to re-root again, so that's going to be another plant, another plant, another plant, similar to blackberries and strawberries, but Renunculus reapings, the Latin there, reapings, refers to creeping, so that's where we get creeping buttercup from. In terms of medicinal use, this plant is considered pretty toxic. But if you wanted, you could grab a load of them, the leaves, the plant, crush them up into a poultice, you know, like a paste, and then you're doing a bit of hard work like me and Johnny are today. Eh? What about you doing hard work? <laughs> <laughs> but you make a poultice and you rub it onto your skin. But again, when I say anything about medicinal uses or wild edibles, do your due diligence first. Do all your wee tests and checks because you could be highly allergic to it. In which case, you know, don't take this advice from me as gospel. Just in case, that's a wee disclaimer on there, you know. But really good for muscle ache, you know. That's probably one of the top uses for it. And if you were digging this out, you would leave a lot of holes, so you would need to fill it over and all again. Um, best just the, the a war of attrition with it. When you see it flowering, when you see it pop up, cut it down. Same with all weeds. If you get them before they seed, you know, it's just a war of attrition. Years in, you'll win the battle. But uh, that's our wee bit in Renunculus Reapings. Thank you for listening.